Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today's video, we're gonna be literally counting thousands of the fry of this catfish. In my previous videos, I told you that we combine the use of hormone and breeding this parent catfish naturally. And also we mentioned about the conditioning process where before the intended breeding, we're gonna condition our breeders with either entrails of this chicken, giving this kind of food to our breeder catfish will ensure us that they can give also fertile eggs and healthy offsprings, healthy babies. And this is my experience and I am revealing this to you in order for you to follow as well. Come on, come on, you eat. Come on, you eat. Eat, 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 eat. This uh, chicken liver. So the preparation is just to slice them, just like that. And then make this like little cubes. My intention is only to give them the chosen ones, the ones that are chosen for breeding. And they are eating down under, actually. All of them that are here are female catfish. And even the meat of this chicken. And you will witness that if I will drop this one, this is gonna be consumed in just a matter of minutes. And this preparation had been so successful that we don't even miss even once in our breeding method or in our breeding effort. That's why I'm so happy to uh, inform our followers and viewers that this system is actually a good system to adapt. And I would like to reveal this in order for our catfish farmers to follow. Maybe you were asking about the hormones. Well, you can just search online about the catfish hormones. There are so many that are available. Today, as you can see, our staff is now busy catching this fast grower catfish to be transferred in a more deeper and more wider tank. So we are doing the usual segregation. And during this process, the segregation is an act of segregating the fast growers from the slow growers because if we will not do this then chances are we will harvest lesser in number because all these fast growers that the big ones are eating the small ones so please look at this because we also have devised a system on how to count this quickly There are certain tips that I would like to reveal in order for us to easily monitor the baby fish because this is actually very delicate, very sensitive that they will die easily. They are sensitive to the environment, sensitive to the water condition, and very sensitive to the kind of tank that we're gonna use for them. And talking about tank, for the baby catfish, we have to make it very shallow. Why? Because in a shallow tank, we can easily monitor the, the conditions of the fish. And if you're gonna look at this tank, this is just a very shallow tank that I realize very suitable for the baby catfish. Because these baby catfish don't like cold temperature. They like warm temperature. And if you will maintain this shallow tank, they will certainly grow fast because the digestive system is also very quick. And let me tell you also that the elevated tank will somehow give us a very easy access to the fry. 
because that's elevated and we can just easily change the water if needed. So this is one of the important tips that we can reveal to you in so far as the fry care of this baby catfish is concerned. When you're gonna make this kind of tank, be sure that you will use good material so that we can step on it during the harvest. And as you can see, our staff are actually stepping inside this uh, very shallow tank. This gives us more very easy way of catching them, catching our baby catfish. Let me tell you that the main diet of the baby catfish is more on the live food. And in our last video, we also made mention about the parallel effort of breeding this Tubifex worm, which is also very helpful. And in breeding this uh, Tubifex worm, you can also browse in other videos because we discuss in detail how to effectively breed our Tubifex worm. We only need to have small starters and then we can just leave it for a couple of weeks and then you will be amazed that this Tubifex worm gonna produce very massively. Though they are catfish, they also needed this uh, beautiful environment for them. And of course, we have this uh, filtration system. And as you can see, this is a DIY filtration bucket that we will use for our catfish. And through the test of time, of course, I can say that this is also very effective, not only for the catfish, but also for other types of fish like the carp or the koi and goldfish and even the live bearers. So we will put this in the middle. Ah, very heavy. Okay, and then we will use the air pump. Of course, this is a powerful pump that we use because this can aerate many tanks. So we will put this in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, eleven, twelve. 14. The smaller ones will be put right here. These are just fast growers. These are not the total population of our catfish because right there at the back we have so many that we have to segregate a little by little. We have to do the sizing in order to prevent this cannibalism. So guys, we have literally counted 1,498 fast grower catfish from the tank. And uh, this is actually a milestone because 
um, at first I really was not aware that this uh, segregation process is really very important. We have to take out the fast growers and these are the fast growers. Imagine this 1,498 fast grower baby catfish can consume already one or two in a day. So if we will just allow them to be mixed together with the smaller ones, then there is really a big chance that the smaller ones will be devoured. They will be eaten up. That would be a failure in so far as our effort to produce this baby catfish. So these are actually the methods that we have adopted and uh, I hope that this will help because I really had zero knowledge about this. I learned only through personal experience. And uh, if you are into, you know, fish breeding, you will develop your own method. And I hope that this method that we have shared with you will be helpful, especially if you're just a beginner in this catfish farming. This very tiny worm is also very instrumental to avert the practice of cannibalism because once they're hungry, of course, they will eat the smaller ones. So one of the techniques is never let them go hungry. And this worm is one of the food that we can feed to our catfish in order for them not to practice this cannibalism. So the breeding of this worm should become very essential alongside with the breeding of our catfish. So I hope guys that you're encouraged with this video. And for this batch alone, actually, we can estimate that we can harvest more than 10,000 fry. And then if you're going to multiply that to 5 pesos, then that's going to be a big money, of course, to earn. So this is an encouragement. If you don't have any work, you breed your catfish. If you cannot land a good job, you breed your catfish or you grow your catfish. So these are the things that we can share. I hope that you are going to still continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to the channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading very informative videos regularly only here at Dexter's World